Lift up your Bibles. Let's see your Bibles. Hallelujah. We thank God for this great opportunity to be in his presence again. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We thank God. A lot of people started with us this year, even this week, and they did not make it to this day. It's a privilege to see yourself wake up in the morning and know that you are alive. And so we thank God for it. Hallelujah. We give God the praise. We give God the honor. And we give God adoration. I want you to one minute just say, Father, thank you for life. Say, thank you for life. Thank you, Lord, for life. Thank you, Lord. I appreciate Lord. God and thank him for thank life. God, Hallelujah. God, say, Lord, thank you for life. Do not ask anything. Just say, thank you, Lord, for life. Lord, we thank you for life. We thank you for all that you've done for us. We appreciate you, Abba Father. David said in Psalm 103, verse 1 to 2, that bless the Lord, O my soul, and all that is within me, bless his holy name. That bless the Lord, O my soul, and forget not his benefits. Lord, this morning we have not forgotten your benefits. You have done so much so for us that if I had a thousand tongues, I would say Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Lord, this morning with one tongue in our mouth, one tongue in my mouth, we say thank you. You are awesome, you are mighty, you are great, you are faithful, you are dependable, and we appreciate you, we love you, we reverence you. Only you shall we bow down to, only you shall we respect as the omnipotent God, omnipresent God, Omnipresent God, da kaliamba kodi yaba sanda yaba kuliyanta ya. We thank you. We worship you and adore you. Thank you, Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let's take this moment also to worship Him. Just worship Him in John chapter four, verse twenty-three to twenty-four. It says, "A time will come, and the time is now." that true worshipers will worship me in spirit and in truth. Hallelujah. It becomes unnecessary when you come to the presence of God and your heart is not there or your mind is not there. Hallelujah. It's, that's not the strategy that God wants us to use in his presence. He wants us to come to his presence fully aligned with the spirit. Hallelujah. He said, a time will come and the time is now that true worshipers will worship me in spirit and in truth. Please put John 4, 23 to 24 on there, which means that anywhere you stand, hallelujah, to worship God in spirit and in truth, God shows up. It says, yet a time is coming and has now come when the true worshipers will worship the Father in the spirit and in truth, for they are the kind of worshipers the Father seeks. Hallelujah. So going to God in the church building, in the four corners of a church is good. Praise the Lord. Worshiping God anywhere else on the mountain is good. Praise the Lord. Worshiping God virtually is good. The most important thing is to bring yourself, hallelujah, your spirit, be in spirit and in truth. If you go to the four corners of church, brick and mortar, and you are not there in truth, is a waste. Hallelujah. So today, this morning, we ask for the grace to be in his presence in spirit and in truth. Amen. Hallelujah. Thank you, my father. Praise the Lord. Let's appreciate our father in the Lord, Apostle Johnson Suleiman, and our mother in the Lord, Dr. Lizzie Johnson Amen. Suleiman. Let's appreciate them. Let's appreciate Amen. God for their lives. Praise the Lord. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Once you take up the work of God, trust me, you don't have to offend 
principalities and powers. The fact that you are in that area, you are a target. Let's open our mouth and just appreciate God for them and ask God to continue to preserve to protect them and guide them in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Likewise, appreciate God for yourself. Hallelujah. You see the battles you fight at work because you are a child of God. The battles you fight in your homes, hallelujah, in your families because you refuse to worship the idols, because you refuse um, to sacrifice to to the, uh, the... gods of our forefathers you're a target so appreciate god for yourself and thank god praise the lord hallelujah father we thank you we give you all the praise we give you all the honor we give you all the adoration thank you my father thank you king of kings thank you lord of lords thank you hallelujah amen amen Okay, now, please bring your Bibles with me to the book. Hallelujah. Holy Spirit, come and take control. We deep the airways, the byways, the roadways. We deep this building in the blood of Jesus. We deep all platforms in the blood of Jesus. We deep all viewers in the blood of Jesus. I deep this altar, this pulpit. I deep myself and everyone online in the blood of Jesus. That's your will and will will come to pass, that your power will brood all over in the name of Jesus, that your name will be glorified in the mighty name of Jesus. Thank you, my father, in Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Please, let's turn our Bibles to the book of Daniel chapter 3, verse 16 to 18. And then we're going to read the same chapter 3 from verse 26. Hallelujah, to 28, there are about 23 to 28, so, uh, 20, sorry, verse 23 to 26. So first we're going to read Daniel chapter 3, verse 16 to 18, and then we'll read from verse 23 to 26. Amen. Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego replied to him, King Nebuchadnezzar, We do not need to defend ourselves before you in this matter. If we are thrown into the blazing furnace, the God we serve is able to deliver us from it, and he will deliver us from our majesty's hand. But even if he does not, we want you to know, your majesty, that we will not serve your gods or worship the image of gold you have set up. Verse 23. And these three men firmly tied fell into the blazing furnace. Then King Nebuchadnezzar leaped to his feet in amazement and asked his advisors, weren't there three men that we tied up and threw into the fire? They replied, certainly, your majesty. He said, look, I see four men walking around in the fire, unbound and unharmed, and the fourth looks like a son of the gods. Nebuchadnezzar then approached the opening of the blazing furnace and shouted, Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, servants of the Most High God, come out, come here. So Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego came out of the fire. Hallelujah. You are coming out of every fire. Hallelujah. Amen. You are coming out of every setup. You are coming Amen. out of every evil plan, every evil thoughts, evil projections, evil orchestrations, every evil wish or will. The Lord is bringing you out of them. I said, the Lord is bringing you out of them. Jehovah is bringing you out of them Amen. in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. God, by his own infinite wisdom, 
created all things to himself. He has provided for us eternal purposes so that we will not perish. This is why in John 3, 16, it says, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believes in him will not perish but have everlasting life. Beloved, it is so very important. Do not take your intimacy, your, your relationship with God lightly. Praise the Lord. God still speaks. God still delivers. God still protects. God still guides. God still answers our prayers. God still is in the business of bringing to pass what he has said concerning you. It is up to you to make up your mind to know him and know him well. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. In Daniel chapter 3, verse 16 to 18, the place where we read, Bible said... Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego, they were in the king's palace, King Nebuchadnezzar's palace. And the king ordered them to serve his gods, his golden calf that he has created. Before then, Daniel, Meshach, and Abednego served this great god that you and I serve. But in the earthly realm, they had a superior, which was King Nebuchadnezzar. So King Nebuchadnezzar in the earthly realm physically said, hey, you guys, you have to worship my God. If you don't worship my God, I will order a decree that will throw you into the fiery furnace. These three guys looked the king in the face and said, king, we will not worship your God. Hallelujah. We will not. We will not. In no matter what you say, praise the Lord. We will not worship your God. Hallelujah. And the king said, if you're not going to worship my God, I will command, pass a decree that you will be thrown into the fiery furnace. When you read verse the whole of daniel chapter 3 will give you the whole story when you read daniel 23 to 26 it tells how indeed these three hebrew boys were firmly tied and they put them into the fiery furnace so that they can perish praise the lord don't forget the lord gave his only begotten son that whosoever believes in him will not perish, but have everlasting life. Now, King Nebuchadnezzar, having seen that these three Hebrew boys believed in God, threw them into the fairy furnace. The guys did not bow because they know the God that he is, they serve. Beloved, things will come at you. Life will take certain turns. It's important for you to know the God that you serve, to know what the scriptures say about you. Bible says, lo and behold, after throwing them into the firing furnace, another translation says the blazing furnace, the king went to check to see, leaped, he leaped. He's like, let me go and see these crazy boys. That thing that they serve some kind of God. <laughs> Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let me go and see. Ah, they refuse to serve me. We shall see. In school, we, they say that we shall see. We shall put pepper in your eyes. We shall score you. Hallelujah. That's just by the way. So he went to check. And he said, wait. I, we put. The three boys we tied. What happened here? Praise the Lord. Only to his amazement, the boys were still alive, and there was a fourth man in the fiery furnace. 
The boys, nothing, praise the Lord, nothing touched them. Nothing. They were untouched by the blazing furnace. I make a decree over someone at the sound of my voice this day that as long as your hope is in God, as long as your faith is in God, nothing will touch you. Amen. Nothing will change what God has said concerning you. Amen. Nothing will take away divine order over your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit, this Hebrew voice exacted their faith. Praise the Lord. They enacted their faith. A lot of us working about just one little thing we are calling Obiyama. Obiyama, oh, this is happening. Obiyama, this is... Where Obiyama himself, wherever he's sitting, he needs help. Hallelujah. Don't you... When you go to watch the African movies, look at their location. If they had power, would they live in a, 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 a long, far away place? Why can't they get a place in the city? No demon, no principality has power over the power of God. Praise Master Jesus. So the king leaped, 20, uh, verse 26, 25, 26. The king leaped and saw four men in the fiery furnace. The fourth man, who is the fourth man? Most of us think that you are just by yourself. You are not just by yourself. There is a fourth man with you. Hallelujah. There is a fourth man by you. You are not walking alone. Praise Master Jesus. Verse 25, please. You are not walking alone. God is walking with you. All you have to do is activate your faith. All you have to do is believe in what God is saying. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Lord is with you. Amen. David said, the Lord is my shepherd and I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leaded me beside the still waters. He restored my soul. He leaded me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, but I will fear no evil, for thou art with me. Thy rock and thy staff, they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointed my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me. All the days of my life, and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. Amen. Beloved, in the name of Jesus, as you are on this platform or listen to this message, may the Lord preserve you. I said, the Lord protect you from Amen. every wiles of the enemy, from every agenda of hell, from every negativity, any Amen. setup that has been set for you this month of September and beyond. May the Lord avert them. I Amen. said, the Lord avert them. May the fourth man appear in your case. I said, the fourth man appear. In no matter, Amen. the devil will try, but God has the ultimate um, uh, 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 power in the name of Jesus. Satan will try. King Nebuchadnezzar indeed threw the four, three Hebrew men into the fairy furnace, but God showed up. Sometimes do not even be scared when you are in the furnace. I know that the Lord will be with you. I said the Lord is with you. In that problem, God is with you. It will not consume you. That problem will not consume you. I said that problem will not consume you Amen. in the name of Jesus. Amen. So this voice, the king realized that he didn't have power. And so he ordered them, verse 25 to 26, he ordered them to now bring the boys out. Praise the Lord. He said, look, I see four men walking around in the fire, unbound on harm. And the fourth looks like a son of God. And he said, go and bring, he called them forth to bring them out. Hallelujah. Verse 26. Nebuchadnezzar then approached the opening of the blazing furnace and shouted, Shadrach, Meshach, Abednego, servants of the most high God, come out and come here. In the name of Jesus, 
the name of above every other name. I prophesy wherever they have kept you, whoever, whether by your picture, whether by any element of nature that they are working with, uh, they, the, the Lord overturned their agenda. Elohim overturned their agenda. You are coming yes. out of wherever they have kept you. You are yes. coming out of every altar. The Lord is delivering somebody. Elohim yes. is delivering somebody. King of Kings is delivering somebody. Lord yes. of Lord is delivering somebody in the name of Jesus. Ezekiel 21 verse 27 it says and i will overturn and overturn and overturn unto whose turn it is i will give to him the lord overturn and overturn and overturn unto whose turn it is the lord give you back your destiny i said the lord give you back your destiny elohim Amen. give you back your destiny Amen. any altar they have taken your name to any altar. They have taken your business to any altar. They have taken your children's pictures to any altar speaking against you. Today, you are coming out of their evil agendas. You are coming out of their evil plots. You are coming Amen. out of every, every plan of the enemy for your life in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. And so Nebuchadnezzar said, bring them out. Nebuchadnezzar realized that he didn't have power. The power of God was stronger than the power of the fire. He realized that it's not about what he says, it's about what God says. Until you exert your faith, until you stand your grounds in the Lord, your naysayers, your, the negative agenda, evil authors will not know the power of your God. It is so very important that you exert your faith so that the negative sayers and your naysayers and powers principalities will succumb to your God. I pray for you in the name of Jesus that after now, every agenda of hell concerning your life comes to a stop. It comes to a Amen. stop. It comes Amen. to a stop. It Amen. comes to a stop. It Amen. comes to a stop. It Amen. comes to a stop in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit, by the word of God. God loves everyone. God has given all of us, everyone, something to work with. These three Hebrew boys worked with faith, and that is a gift. The gift of faith is a gift. There are many gifts. There are about 21 gifts in the Bible. Whatever you have, whatever God has given to you, use it. Praise the Lord. Everybody has something to do. In fact, what God has entrusted in your hands, in my hands, is not for us. It's to edify the body of Christ. It's to prove to nations that, in fact, God is God. Hallelujah. Bible says He God plan to use the church to show off his wisdom this is the purpose of the church if some people will say why church why church the church god plan to use the church to show off his wisdom and so if you are part of the church always make sure that you exact the power exact your faith Exact prayer, exact your fasting, exact anything you know to do well in God, exact it in, time, in terms of need in the name of Jesus. Ephesians 3 11, I'll show you to you there. Hallelujah. I'll show you to you there. It is obvious that these three Hebrew boys were men of God. It says, according, Ephesians 3, 11 says, according to his eternal purpose that he accomplishes. Give me another translation. Hallelujah. It says, according to the eternal purpose of which he purposed in Christ Jesus. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's read verse 12. in whom we have boldness and access with confidence by the faith of him. Hallelujah. 
So once you are in God, God plan to use the church to, to prove to the world that he is God. So you cannot be a child of God and be intimidated. You cannot be a child of God and be shoved around anyhow. As a child of God, you must have boldness and have some confidence by faith that you are a child of God. I pray for someone at the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus that receive confidence and activate your faith in the name of Jesus. These three Hebrew boys activated their faith and so will you in the mighty name of Jesus. It's so imperative in this end time that as you go about doing your at work, I've realized that there's so, there's so much increase of witchcraft, increase of wickedness, increase of all the negative things unnecessarily. There's so much increase. But Psalm 34 verse 19 Hallelujah. It says, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of them all. In the name of Jesus, I pray for someone at the sound of my voice that the Lord will deliver you out of every affliction, every agenda of hell, Elohim deliver you. King of kings deliver you. Lord of lords deliver you. Amen. I said the Lord deliver you out of all your troubles. The Amen. Lord deliver you out of every plot of the enemy. The Lord Amen. deliver you out of every agenda of hell. The Lord deliver you out of every chaos environment. The Lord Amen. deliver you out of things that you don't even know about. May the Amen. Lord deliver you. I say Amen. the Lord deliver you. Amen. Elohim deliver you. King Amen. of kings deliver you. Lord Amen. of lords deliver you. Amen. King of kings deliver you. Amen. You don't serve a dead God. Amen. You serve a mighty God. He's the same yesterday. He's the same today. He's the same forever. When God says yes, no man can say no. When God lifts you up, no man can bring you down. God is on your side. Power is on your side. Favor is on your side. Shout fire. Shout fire. fire. Shout fire. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hallelujah. Amen. The God we serve does not sleep nor slumber. He's always awake. So there is nothing impossible for him to do. What is the problem we have is us. So once you fix your mind, transform your mind and know that this is the law, the God I'm serving. And this is where my faith is. Beloved, you are covered. Hallelujah. That doesn't mean afflictions or stuff will not happen. It will happen, but know that there is a fourth man for you. Hallelujah. There is a fourth man that will be with you in that problem. Amen. In the name of Jesus. I don't know Amen. who the sermon is for, but God says there is a fourth man for you. There is a fourth man with you in that Amen. business uh, to deliver you out of that affliction. There is Amen. a fourth man with you in that academic problem to deliver you from the expectations of your enemies. There is a fourth man with you in that ministry to deliver you from the expectations of your enemies. There is a fourth man with you in what you are believing him for to deliver you from every agenda of the of the enemy. Say, my father, my father, in the my name father, of Jesus, father. the name above Amen. every other name. This day, this moment, I activate my fourth man. I activate Amen. my fourth man. Hey, Amen. open your mouth and pray in the name of Jesus. I activate Amen. my fourth man. Amen. Amen. Mention the thing and ask God to activate you, your fourth man. Basulianta. By faith, O Lord. Makulianta Rabasili Ante Yabasili Anta. Alekete lekete legezu lekete legene. Abande abasala kata. Elekese. Father, we activate the fourth man in our lives in this month of September and beyond. That every agenda of hell or whoever they are, wherever they are, let the expectation of, of hell, let it backfire. Let it backfire. Let every expectation of hell backfire. In the name of Jesus, Job chapter 5, verse 12. <clears throat> 
He says he disappointed the devices of the crafty so their hands cannot perform their enterprise. In the mighty name of Jesus, let every craftiness, let every manipulation, let every agenda of hell, wherever they are, wherever they are, my Father, my God, disappoint their devices. Let their hands not be able to perform their enterprise. In the mighty name of Jesus, just as you disappointed Nebuchadnezzar, Every man or woman, born by a woman, born on this earth, however they are born, that has flesh and blood, walking on mother earth, even in the realms of the spirit, in the heavens on earth, beneath the earth. Oh God of heaven, I decree by the decree of heaven, Job chapter 5 verse 12, that you disappoint their devices and not let their hands perform their enterprises. Lord, disappoint their devices. Disappoint their devices. Disappoint their devices, 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 and let their hands not be able to perform their enterprise in the mighty name of Jesus. Isaiah 44, verse 25. In the name of Jesus, it says he frustrates the tokens of liars and made diviners mad. Lord, in the life of your children, wherever they are, in the name of Jesus. Oh Lord, frustrate their tokens and make diviners mad. Any diviner that has been hired against your children, my father, my God, frustrate them, frustrate them, frustrate them. Diviners wherever, to the north, south, east, and west on this earth. Diviners hired in the waters. Diviners hired in the heavens. Diviners hired wherever they are. My Father, my God, frustrate diviners. Frustrate diviners. In the name of Jesus, every diviner that has taken an assignment over your children, O God of heaven, thou that seest in darkness as in daylight, arise Arise, O Lord, and frustrate them. Arise, O Lord, and frustrate them. In the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the word of God, Lord, deliver us out of every kind of wickedness, whoever they are, wherever they are. In the mighty name of Jesus, as God to frustrate diviners, any man or woman that has taken you as an assignment, in the mighty name name of Jesus according to Job uh, sorry Isaiah 44, verse 25. The Lord is frustrating them. The Lord is making them mad. Those that are waiting to see you in pain. Those that are waiting to see you cry. Those that are waiting to hear evil news. I decree by the decree of heaven that they will wait forever. 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 They will wait forever in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the word of God. As I stand on this altar, I further decree and declare over someone at the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus that people have gathered against you according to Isaiah 8 verse 9 to 10. It says, associate yourself, all ye people, and it shall be broken into pieces. Give your all ye from far countries. Grab yourselves and it shall be broken into pieces. Grab yourselves and it shall be broken into pieces. Take counsel together and it shall not stand. Speak a word and it shall come to naught. For the Lord is with us. In the name of Jesus, the name above every other name, every association of wickedness, every association of bad people, every association of people against what God has said concerning your life. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, wherever they are, whoever they are, the Lord frustrate them. The Lord break them into pieces. Elohim break them into pieces. King of kings break them into pieces. Lord of Lord break them into pieces. I say God break them into pieces. God break them into pieces. The Lord break them into pieces. The Lord scatter them. Scatter them. The Lord scatter them. Wherever they have gathered, in your father's house, in your mother's house, at your workplace, in your ministry, in your environment, in your business, wherever on this earth, in the heavens, in the waters, wherever beneath the earth, the Lord break them into pieces. I decree that they are broken into pieces. I declare they are broken into pieces. That what was meant for you goes back to them. In 
the mighty name of Jesus. And he says, take counsel together and it shall not stand. Every evil counsel that has been taken against you, evil counsel was taken against these three Hebrew boys. It did not stand. Every evil counsel taken against you will, shall not stand. We decree by the decree of heaven, Isaiah 7 verse 7, over evil yes. counsels taken against you and your family, taken against you and your household, at your workplace, in your ministry, wherever, in your business, that evil counsels will not stand. I stand Amen. on this exalted altar and I decree by the decree of heaven, Isaiah 7 verse 7, over evil counsels that it shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. It shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. Amen. It will not stand, neither they will, will they come to pass. Amen. Evil counsels will not stand, neither will they come to pass in the name Amen. of Jesus. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit. It says, and speak a word, it shall not come to naught. It shall come to naught, or it shall not stand. I prophesy over someone at the sound of my voice that every evil decree over your life, evil decree over your home, evil decree over your finances, evil decree over your ministry, evil decrees over your business, every evil decree over that which concerns you, it, that has played till now in the name of Jesus, the name above every other name, connecting to my, my head, to the throne room of grace, uh, kneeling down before God, uh, encompassed with all the archangels. I decree by the decree of heaven that every evil decree against your life today comes to a knot. Today Amen. comes to naught. Today, Amen. this day, right now, they come to naught. They come Amen. 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 to naught. Evil Amen. decrees come to naught. Evil declarations come to naught. Evil Amen. decrees, pronunciations, uh, evil decrees come to a naught in the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit, anyone that has decreed uh, Evil decrees over your life, whether you have heard about it or have not heard about it. Evil decrees decreed secretly against you in the name of Jesus, the name above every other name. By the blood of Jesus, we bring evil decrees to a knot. Right now, in the name of Jesus, according to Isaiah 7, verse 7, that every evil decree shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. King Nebuchadnezzar issued an evil decree to kill three star generals. Men, the fact that they are three star, uh, they are they are they are generals shows when God, the fourth man, appeared to them. It means they were God's eyes. He wanted to just terminate their lives. Praise the Lord! But the Lord did not let him. I pray for someone. At the sound of my voice, any sacrifice that has been done, anyone that has given money over your life, over your head, over your name, anyone that has added your picture, your children's picture, has added the name of whatever is related to you to do you evil. In the name of Jesus, I decree by the decree of heaven that it shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. It shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. It shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass as long as the Lord is seated on his throne in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Spirit, by the word of God, in the name of Jesus, we bring every evil decrees to a knot in the mighty name of Jesus. Beloved, you don't have to do anyone any harm. You don't have to offend anyone to be in satanic, for, to be on a satanic agenda. In fact, those that hurt, those that do evil, the devil doesn't care about them because that's when you are evil and you are doing all of that, he knows that you are one of his own. They don't touch you. But when you're trying to work out your salvation with fear and trembling, you are not one of him. And so you become a target. Praise the Lord. So it is very important to know 
what God has in store for you and also to exercise your relationship with God. Jesus was handed over to be killed deliberately, not because he did anything. Hallelujah. So if Jesus is our role model, you don't have to offend anyone to be in, 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 on their target list. Am I talking to somebody? So do not go and say, what did I do? You didn't do anything. It's just because mm -hmm. Jesus is your role model. Well, I pray for someone at the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus, that every agenda of hell, every, every communication of darkness, every plan of manipulation against you and your family, against what God has said concerning you. Today, the Lord, the fourth man appears on your side. I say the fourth man comes to you. The fourth man takes you out of it. Amen. The fourth man takes you out of it. Amen. The fourth man takes you out of it. I say Amen. the fourth man takes you out of it in the Amen. name of Jesus. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit, by the word of God, in the mighty name of Jesus. Isaiah 10, verse 1, it says, beware of unrighteous decrees. Hallelujah. Beware of unrighteous decrees that the Lord will always come for you, will be there for you. Say, so, woe to those who make unjust laws to those who issue oppressive decrees. God hates oppression. God does not like oppression anything in the form of oppression know that you have won the victory i pray for you in the name of jesus after now that any kind of unrighteous decree any kind of oppression any kind of negativity that is ungodly that is unrighteous that you don't deserve may the fourth man show up for you i said the fourth man in the fiery furnace show up for you the Amen. fourth man deliver you you will not Amen. be hurt you will Amen. not lose anything you will Amen. not abort your vision you Amen. will not live a life that will glorify your enemies in the name of jesus what Amen. god has said concerning you is what will come to pass in the mighty name of Jesus, by the Amen. power of the Holy Spirit, by the word of God, in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Please wave at the Lord. Wave at him. Wave at him. Amen. We are going to pray against evil speakers. Evil speakers, according to Psalm 140, verse 11. Evil speakers. Most times people lose what God has said concerning them, not because God took it back. It's because of evil speakers. When you look at the problem with Daniel before he was put in the lion's den, it was true evil speakers. It was through the set traps that he was sharing office with. Give me another translation. It was through the set traps that he was sharing office with. Evil speakers. There are people you have to miss and there are people you have to meet. When you meet who you are supposed to miss is a problem. When you miss who you are supposed to meet is a problem. That's why every time you meet people, you ask God, how should I go about this? What should I do on this? Hallelujah. You need divine direction. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Amen. We're going to pray against evil speakers. There's someone at the sound of my voice. You have suffered this for a long time. Evil speakers. Hallelujah. Evil speakers. You've suffered so much in the hands of evil speakers because you talk a lot. Hallelujah. You talk a lot. So even what you haven't said, they say you said it. Praise the Lord. You are going to pray. It says, let not an evil speaker be established in the earth. Evil shall hunt the violent man to overthrow him. Say, my father, my father, in my life my and my destiny, father. let not an evil speaker be established in my life. In no matter who they are, oh God of heaven, you have my permission 
let not an evil speaker be established in my life and destiny. Open your mouth and ask God that no evil speaker will be established. In the name of Jesus, let not an evil speaker be established in my life and destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus, my Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, we pray, O oh Lord, that let not an evil speaker be established in our lives wherever they are, in our children's lives, in our families, uh, in the life of the church of your children. Father, we pray, oh Lord, let not an evil speaker be established in our children's life, whether in school or at work. Oh God of heaven, remove all evil speakers out of our children's life. Remove all evil speakers out of your children in the name of Jesus. Every evil speaker in our lives and destiny, oh Lord, let them not be established in the name of Jesus. Lord, de establish them, de establish them wherever they are, wherever they are. De establish them. Ali abata la gada la gaze lege zelege de. Irege de lege de lege de lege de. Irege zelege zelege te. Irege te lebe te lege te lege de. Iraka zelege ze. In Jesus name, Amen. Amen. And he said, "Evil shall hunt the violent man to overthrow him." Say, my father, my father, in my father, life and father. destiny. Oh Lord God of heaven, oh, let God. every evil speaker, let yeah, their yeah. words hunt them and overthrow them. Let their yeah, words yeah. hunt them and yeah. overthrow yeah. them. Let their words for me, let it hunt them and overthrow them. In the mighty name of Jesus, every evil speaker in my life and destiny, my Father, my God, in the name of Jesus, the name above every other name, oh God of heaven, let their own words hunt them. Let it hand them down. Ligizande abata legeze lekete lekete legede. Ilegeze lekete lekete. Ilegeze lekete legede. Ilegeze lekete lekete lebete lekete legede. Ilegeze la baze legeze lekete legede. Ilegeze lekete lebate legeze lekete lebata. Ilegeze la bate legete legede. Ilegezante abata. Ilegezunta abata. Ilegeze lekese lekese lekete. Every evil speaker walking about, uh, going back and forth uh, against you in your ministry, against you in your academics, against you at your workplace, wherever the Lord, the power of God hands them down and overthrow them. I decree and declare this week and beyond the power of God will hunt them down and overthrow them. I said the power of God will hunt them. The power of God will rebuke them and overthrow them. The Lord rebuke them and overthrow them. Elohim rebuke them and overthrow them for you. King of kings rebuke them and overthrow them for you. In the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit by the word of God in Jesus mighty name it is settled amen hallelujah amen. Amen. praise the lord we're going to pray according to psalm 59 verse 7 it says behold they belch out with their mouth they belch out with swords are in their lips for who say they do it here. So you see what they spew from their mouths. The words from their lips are sharp as swords as they think. Who can hear us? Hallelujah. There are evil decrees over your life. There are evil declarations over your life that they have decreed that they think that no one can hear them. Hallelujah. The Bible says they spew evil from their mouths. You are going to pray. Say, my father, my father, in the my name father, of Jesus, the name Amen. above every other name, every evil decree spewed from their mouth behind closed doors. 
against me. Oh Lord, this morning we renounce them in the name of Jesus. We renounce them by the blood of Jesus. We renounce them by the word of God. Renounce every evil decree. Renounce it, renounce it. Uh, may the Lord frustrate evil decrees pronounced yeah. over you secretly. Yeah. It says, yeah. who can hear yeah. us? Hallelujah. Because they think no one can hear them. They think they are saying it behind closed doors. They say whatever they want to say. They take off their clothes naked. They do evil. And say, who can see us? Who can hear us? Say, my father, my father, in the name of Jesus, thou that seest in darkness as in daylight, every evil decree and declarations spill over my life, spill over my household, spill over my destiny, spill over all that concerns me. In the name of Jesus, O God of heaven, by the power of the Holy Spirit, we reverse them back to the senders. We reverse them, 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 reverse them back to the senders, back to the senders. Let them eat of their own flesh and drink their own blood. In the mighty name of Jesus, every evil decree, every negative agenda, anything on paper, anything in the books, or anything on camera, whatever they have in their hands uh, that they are doing secretly and say who can hear us who can see us nobody sees us and they are they intend to do it for evil may the lord punish them we reverse that agenda for them since they want they wish it for you let it be their portion in the name of jesus let them eat of it and drink of it in the mighty name of jesus oh god of heaven let every evil agenda spew from any mouth evil decrees uh, over over us uh, over our children uh, over our loved ones uh, from any kind of person father we break their hold we break that power and we backtrack uh, those decrees back to the senders uh, we backtrack them backtrack uh, we backtrack back to the sender every evil decree over our lives and destiny. Let them eat of it, let them drink of it. Let it be their portion in the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Spirit, by the word of God. In the name of Jesus, the name above every other name. In Jesus' mighty name, it is settled. Hallelujah. Amen. Amen. King Nebuchadnezzar was put to shame. King Nebuchadnezzar's decrees did not come to pass because the Lord was with the three Hebrew boys. Hallelujah. You are going to ask God. I don't know the message somewhere is going somewhere else. This is according to the will of the Holy Spirit. But you are going to pray. You are going to reverse every unrighteous decree against you, against your household, against anyone connected to you. Hallelujah. Whether you know the decrees or don't know the decrees, you are going to renounce them in the name of Jesus. Raise up your right hand of fire. <clears throat> Say, my father, my father, in the my name father, of Jesus, father. I renounce every unrighteous decree over me, over my household, over my children, over my spouse, over my job, over my life, over all that concerns me. Oh, Lord God of heaven, this day, this moment, we renounce every unrighteous decree. Open your mouth and renounce them. Unrighteous decrees playing out in our lives and destiny. Oh, God of heaven, we renounce them. Oh, fourth man, we renounce them. Renounce them, renounce them, renounce them. Renounce every unrighteous decree in the name of Jesus. 
renounce them in the mighty name of Jesus. Every unrighteous decree Lord, to put us in a very furnace, uh, to put us in a tight corner, to put us in where you have not placed us. My Father, my God, we renounce them, we reverse them uh, back to the senders in the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, it is settled. Amen. Amen. You are going to renounce every unrighteous decrease in your family. Matena patena. Hallelujah. That Amen. has played out till now. It's not your fault, but once you are from that bloodline, is playing also in your life. Unrighteous decrees that have been decreed against your grandfather, decreed against your grandmother, decreed against generations to come. You are going to renounce every unrighteous decree in your foundation, matena patena, that the Lord himself, uh, Lord, would deliver you. The fourth man would deliver you from unrighteous decrees. Uh, in the name of Jesus, say, my Amen. father, my father. In the my name father. of Jesus, the name above every other name. Every unrighteous decree against men. Every mm -hmm. unrighteous decree against women. Every unrighteous decree against children in my family in my foundation today in the name of jesus i renounce them i renounce them i reject them i reverse them let them be revoked by the blood of jesus reopen your mouth and pray in the name of jesus this day this moment oh god of heaven we renounce every unrighteous decrees uh, decrees from generations to generations uh, into our forefathers into our fathers and mothers uh, that has followed our bloodline to this day this moment oh god of heaven in the name of jesus we renounce those decrees in the mighty name of jesus by the power of the holy spirit by the word of god king of kings lord of lord Every decree in my foundation, matena paternal, in the name of Jesus, decrees. I renounce them in the name of Jesus. I renounce them by the blood of Jesus. I renounce them by the word of God. Every decree in my neighborhood, decree, I renounce them in the name of Jesus. I renounce them by the blood of Jesus. I reverse them back to the center. I break their hold. I break their power. In the mighty name of Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name, it is settled. Hallelujah. Amen. You are going to renounce... Every legislation, hallelujah, every sanction, praise the Lord, any mandate to hold you captive in life and destiny, you are going to renounce them. In other words, to make you non-existent in life and destiny, you are going to renounce them in the name of Jesus that it will not be your portion. In the mighty name of Jesus, say, my father, my father, in the name of Jesus, this day, this moment, uh, I renounce uh, every mandate, every les legislature, every policy, every law in place uh, 
In the name of Jesus, I renounce them to hold me captive, O God of heaven. I renounce those laws. I renounce those pacts. I renounce those oaths. I renounce those policies. I renounce those legislations. I renounce them, renounce them, renounce them, renounce them. In the name of Jesus, I renounce every evil mandate over my life, over my destiny. In the mighty name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, over the destiny of our children in the name of Jesus anything wherever it's coming from in the name of Jesus. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Nebuchadnezzar contended with the God of the three Hebrew boys. That's why when they said, King, we will not worship you. He said, since you are not going to worship me and you are going to worship the other God, then this is your pay paycheck. Hallelujah. There's so Amen. much contention because of the God that you serve. There's contention in the spirit. There's contention. There's contention. You'll be surprised the powers that are contending. You'll be shocked. If God opens your, ma your, your eyes to show you why you are going through this contention and who is behind it, you'll be surprised. Hallelujah. But we're going Amen. to pray. Hallelujah. Say, my father, my father, in the my name father, of Jesus. Father. Lord, your word in Psalm 35, verse 1, it says, I will contend with those that contend with you and fight against them that fight against you. Say, my father, my God, in the name of Jesus, contend with any power contending with me. Contend with any power contending with me. Fight against with any power fighting against me. Arise, O Lord, and contend with them that contend with me. Fight against with them that fight against me. In the mighty name of Jesus. Amen. As God to contend with them that contend with you and fight against them that fight against you in the name of Jesus. Any power contending with you from your father's house, from your mother's house, from your husband's house, from your neighborhood, with any loose association, any association with any kind of facility entities that is contending with you, the Lord contend with them. Elohim contend with them. King of things contend with them. Lord of Lord contend with them. I say the Lord contend with them. King of things contend with them. Lord of Lord contend with them in the name of Jesus. Every contention in the realms of the spirit that has gone forth already. Today, we break that contention into pieces. In the name of Jesus, I break that contention into pieces. By the power of the Holy Spirit, we break it into pieces. I decree shall not stand, neither shall it come to pass. And any contention set to come forth later comes to not in the mighty name of Jesus. They come to not in the name of Jesus. I say they come to not in the mighty name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Spirit, by the word of God, in Jesus mighty name it is settled amen amen we are we are continuing praying we are going to decree and declare over our lives the will of god the original will of god for your life hallelujah if by any chance you are living a life of error that is not the will of God. We are going to decree it and declare that God's original will begins now. Hallelujah. It begins Amen. now in the name of Jesus. Say, my father, my God, in my, my life and God. destiny, Amen. I ask, O oh Lord, let your original will 
begin let now. Original. Let it begin. If I'm living a life of error, let your original will begin now. Let it begin now, right now, right now. In the name of Jesus, let your will begin right now. In my academics, eh, those that are in school, ask God that his will for your life begin now. You will not be manipulated in school. You will not take the wrong subjects. Uh, you will not do the wrong stuff and later on have to go back to school again. It will not be your portion. In the name of Jesus, says activate the original will for your life say lord i activate uh, your original will for my life original will for my children for my spouse uh, for my loved ones activate it activate it in the name of Jesus, by the power of the Holy Spirit, by the word of God. Father, we activate your original will for your words and you know the thoughts you have about us, thoughts of good and not of evil, to bring us to an expected end. By your power, Likihandaya Bakunda, Elegezeleketelebata, Elekizalakatalabata, Elekizelekete, Elegezoluguzo, Elekizalakazelegede, Elegetelekete, Elegezelegeze, Yagadalagada. La gada 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 in Jesus mighty name it is settled amen amen Psalm 126 verse 2 Psalm 126 our last prayer Psalm 126 verse 2 hallelujah Psalm 126 verse 2 it says our mouths were filled with laughter our tongues with songs of joy then it was said amongst the nation, the Lord has done great things for them. I prophesy over someone at the sound of my voice in the name of Jesus. It will be said among the nations that the Lord has done great things for you. It will be said among the nations that the Lord has done great things for you. The Lord has done great things for you. I see the Lord Amen. doing great things for you. I see the Lord is doing great things for you. It Amen. Will be said, it will be evidence in your life and destiny that the Lord has done great things for you in the name of Jesus. Amen. By the power of the Holy Spirit, by the word of God, I further decree by the decree of heaven, the scripture over you, over your household, over your children, over the work of your hands, over your ministry, over your business, over all that concerns you, over your rendezvous going out and coming in this week, that the Lord will fill your mouth with laughter, that your tongues Amen. will be with joy Amen. that it will be said among nations that the lord has done great things for you i Amen. activate this scripture in the name of the father in the name of the son in the name of the holy spirit amen now lift amen. up your right hands and say my father my father in the name my of father, Jesus, my father this, week and, this week and this beyond this month of september fill my, my mouth with laughter fill my, my mouth, mouth with laughter, laughter. Fill and give me a new song. Fill my mouth a new song. And give me a new song. In fact, and say thank you, Lord, song. for filling my mouth with laughter. Thank you, Lord, for giving me a new song. Yeah, let's do it that way. Say thank you for filling my mouth with laughter. And thank you, Lord, for giving me a new song. Open your mouth and thank him. Father, we thank you for filling our mouth with laughter and for giving us a new song. For filling our mouth with laughter and filling our tongues with songs of joy. Lord, we thank you. We give you all the praise. We give you all the honor. We give you all the adoration. King of kings, Lord of Lord, uh, Alpha and Omega, this week and beyond, uh, for doing great and mighty things for us, uh, for moving us from where we are to where you want us to be. Lord, thank you for testimonies. For thank you, Makande Abaselianta. Thank God for filling your mind after this week, for doing the impossible for you. Make it impossible. Become possible in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name. Amen.
Amen. Now Amen. you are going to thank God for giving you a national testimony. Hallelujah. Amen. A testimony that cannot be hidden. Hallelujah. This Amen. week, this month and beyond in the name of Jesus. Say my father, my father, in my the father, name of Jesus, father. according to Psalm 126 verse 2. Oh Lord, we thank you for giving me a national testimony, Amen. giving me a testimony that cannot be hidden, giving me, oh Lord, Kalema Sandele Handela, proving yourself strong in my life, uh, oh, doing a great thing in my life, open your mouth and thank God for it, thank him, it is done, Bible says in the beginning was his word, his word, the word was with God and the word was God, God has spoken, say Lord, thank you for doing great thank things you, in Lord. my life, thank, thank you, you. Abba, Father, thank you, Lord. in Jesus' mighty name we have prayed, amen, amen, Lord, we thank you, we seal our prayers, with the blood of Jesus, we seal these prayers in the name of Jesus. We seal it by the word of God, which is the double-edged sword. We seal it by a covenant that you gave us. And we believe that you have spoken. You have never lied and you will not lie because of us. Therefore, Lord, we thank you, O oh Lord, for physical moving these testimonies into the physical that we will have tangible, tangible testimonies and bring you back your glory. In the name of Jesus, we thank you for your power. We thank you for your eminence. We thank you, oh Lord, for your presence. We thank you for your faithfulness. We thank you, Abba Father. I lift up everyone on this platform before you that Lord, this week, you will do great and mighty things in their lives. In the name of Jesus, you let your name be glorified as you have spoken. We ask as we leave here, we're not leaving this platform. We'll stay still in your, in your presence that your will will be done in our lives. We ask for your preservation. We ask for your provision. We ask for your protection. We ask for your guidance. We ask that, oh Lord, you fill our mouths full with laughter and give us a new song this week we ask oh lord that you let every evil agenda backfire let your will for our lives come to pass let our expectations not be cut off let your name be glorified in all of this and we shall be careful to bring you the glory and honor that it is you that has done it we thank you lord we give you all the praise in jesus mighty name we have prayed. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. Let's appreciate God. Let's say thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Jesus. In Jesus' mighty name. God bless everyone. Let's share the grace. May the grace May of the our Lord of Jesus Christ, Christ, the love of God, love and the sweet God, fellowship the of the Holy, Holy, Holy Spirit, Spirit be with us now and forevermore. Amen. 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 Surely, Surely goodness and mercy shall follow us for all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of God forever and ever. Amen. 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 My head is a good head, my life is a good life. Angel shall shall fight for us, my portion. Favor on my side, great um, victory on my side. Shame belongs to the enemy, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of our lives in Jesus' name. Amen. God bless you. God bless you. See you next week. God bless you. Amen. Amen. God bless you.